Well, we made it. We made it. <laughs> so we made it. I know. 2024 <laughs> is almost over. I'm doing your December read. Okay. We're gonna do a catch up. Okay. Not catch up, but catch up. <laughs> Let's do an oracle first. Uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. I like it. Um, your oracle says here, listen to your buddy. <laughs> no matter how bad you feel, our bodies are always working on our behalf to create health and vitality. Meet your body halfway by acting on the messages it sends you. Whether it's a whisper or a roar, don't ignore what you hear. Listen to your body. It wants the best for you. That is so true. Right? This is probably one of the most neglected, okay, not unless you're a, even a health enthusiast, okay, message that we have every time, right? Um, like, you'd feel something, it's like, oh, it's fine. I need the coins. <laughs> it's like, no! You know, it's like, you refuse to probably uh or you've been ignoring all uh -huh. right could be um your body needs some rest some sleep um you probably need some time out all uh right -huh. the body has a lot of different kinds of health mental health right uh, physical health also there's spiritual health all okay. right and that's all part of the body all okay. right so that would be the libra probably um message as we go closer to the end of this year listen to your body all okay. right now, we're going to do your tarot. I have your chart over here as well. And th to everyone who has made the first batch, okay, the first 300, we're shipping by the end of the week. So thank you very much. This is what I was talking about. Later, I'm going to share with you guys also. Um, the perfect time to manifest is not at the eve of New Year or anything like that. No, no, no. You start before. It's like pre pre preparing, okay? Because um, how you end the... How you end on the year is what you carry the next year. So if you end in an abundance, it gets carried over the next year. There, I will share with you guys also, of course, it comes with this free, um, this is the Lucky Money Ball Charm um, Red Thread that comes with it free as well, okay? Um, so let's see what's going on with your tarot. If it's, uh, it's free shipping in the US, okay? But we ship to more than 90 countries as well. Let's see. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. I feel that you're... You have taken... So much responsibilities. And some, like, you probably could have just said no to. Um, you're a people pleaser. And that led you to caring a lot. You know, they say we all have a cross to carry, right? Carry. <laughs> Either curry for lunch or carry. Curry, oh. curry. curry. Mm -hmm. And what happened here, Libra, is you never got a chance for some sort of break. And in this relationship, you... You did what you can to the best, okay? but you find yourself consumed. You find yourself physically. I feel like this is more of a physical, physical exhaustion. You want to say no, but you're still trying to find that, uh, that courage. You're trying to understand, if I say no, what will happen? You want everything to be okay, to be family. And you feel that if I don't, everything will fall apart. So you have um, control issues. 
There's nothing wrong with that. You just want to organize certain things the way you this and that. Um, you don't understand why your person... Um, well, they, under, they understand you. They do help. But they make it difficult and complicated. So, instead of just easy breezy, maybe it's Maybelline, it becomes more of like a lot of struggle first, but then it boils down, they're gonna do it anyway. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is a struggle. Now, you have a toxic, uh, not just relationship, this is a toxic habit that you do, Libra. Could be workaholic. Okay. You overcommit. You don't prioritize yourself. And now, you know, you're a slave of that kind of mentality. That's why I said you have a toxic way of dealing with things. Um, um, doesn't mean it's bad, bad, but it's not good long term. Okay, This could be a perfectionist. Uh, you look into the detail way too much. You could overthink. It's not a swords, but the one is passion. You could be doing everything to extreme because you feel like, no, this is me. You know, you, you have this... Uh, um, you look at yourself different where it's like, this is me, this is me, this is me. And it's hard for you to let go of that kind of um, mindset. Like, this is a lot of control on your end. Okay? Especially in love. Okay. Now, okay. So, you're now facing... Some sort of dilemma. Because Ten of Swords, earlier it says like, oh, it's not mental. But now it's becoming more mental. It's becoming more of like such a burden. Okay. Like you're ready to just give up. You're ready just to say, I can't. I see the pattern, Libra. You do this because of love. Air coat, Ace of Cups. And it's hard because you're committed. Mm -hmm. Now, your person is in a different... They look at it logic-ish, but Ace of Swords is here. The way that they have a conversation with you can be dismissive. A lot of ego. You're the King of Swords. Devil. Toxic masculinity. You do submit. You could be like that also, which is, uh, you know, um, in relationship, we all have different ways of uh, how we are with someone. And you're in the Ace of Cups, which means that you dedicate your life while your person demands, could be talks down on you, King of Wands to the devil. And there was a point where you said, it's like, no, it's okay. I'm just saying this. Okay, hopefully it's not what I've seen, but you could be, what do you call that? Uh, a battered wife. So I hope there's no physical pain, but you know, I see it here. And it, it it's not about just physical, it could be mental. Manipulation is here. We don't like a king of wands with a devil, especially with the strength with the ace of swords. Um, your person feels that their truth is the truth and yours is not truth. Okay, so that's a little bit tricky. Uh -huh. Now, um, I'm seeing here that you really do care. Okay. This door right here, it's red for a reason. But it's very expensive for us to turn your house into something like this. But it brings so much luck. Did you know that having a luxury car can improve your relationship? But come on, this is just way too expensive. Did you know that I have invested more than $10,000 on these crystals to attract wealth? But that is unreasonably expensive. Manifestation doesn't have to be that expensive. So I made for you the 2025 Abundance Ritual Energize Kit. These are the essentials that I use to get to where I'm at. You can have your dream house, your dream car, a loving relationship, and it's all in this kit. So visit my website, eTreatLove.me, if you want to change your life today and attract more wealth in the coming 2025. Okay. A lot. Okay. You tried to walk away, yes. And your person got stressed. Okay. 
Now, there are other people who's working hard with the Ten of Wands right here. Ever ever had that? Okay, Ten of Wands, you're passionate about your work or your business, and it doesn't yield anything? Mm, that's a Ten of Wands. Um, that was me years and years ago. I'm very passionate. I'm a, you know, I'm a chef. I dedicate my life to the craft. Okay, now I do a different craft. Okay. So if you are, like what I mentioned, um, trying to bring abundance for the next year, 2025, you end it on a good note. And this is what I have created. The practice is, it has to be done before the end of the year. The cleanse, the rituals. It has a whole tutorial. I'm not going to bore you with that right now. But what I want you to understand that these are the essentials that has brought me six figure, seven figure, and it ain't stopping. It's the, it's the essential, meaning everything that I have used for the past five years, and it's well documented where I'm at now, I feel like I do pretty, pretty well. Okay? And it's not about bragging. It's me sharing. I want you to have all this abundance also that I have. And it's within your reach now. Free shipping in the U.S. We ship to more than 90 countries across the globe. One thing essential, tell me what your intention and your situation. And we will work together to bring that abundance to you. Of course. Because I pray every night okay, <laughs> for everyone who is, in a way, in, in a part of this group. Okay? And if you are one of the first 300 during the launch, it went viral. Until now, it hasn't stopped. This is the week of the first shipping, okay? If it's still available, you can you can check it there, okay? Again, free shipping in the U.S. And we ship to more than 90 countries across the globe as well. Okay, um, here's the thing. The hard lesson... Is with Saturn in the fifth, the restriction, the challenges, you know, the burden. You felt it and you know it. Like so I was like, I didn't know if I would it was I, if I was going to survive it, but I did. Um I was emotionally drained. I tried to start a new beginning in life. And you know. I feel like you did end it. Okay. You walked away from it. But there is this lingering feeling of love and concern for your person. Could be codependent, I'm not sure, um, on each other. Your person reacts to this and they're kind of stressed and they have a message for you. They're going to be very reactive right now. Mercury is going to go retrograde in your second house of speech. There's something that you probably will want to talk to them before the end of the year. Um, it's a little bit of a pressure cooker. I'm seeing it here. Like the pressure is building up. Mm -hmm. There's a Capricorn. There's a Leo. There's a Cancerian. You're very concerned. It feels like I want to talk to them. And I see that they are also. Let's see. So you find yourself stuck. There's that message now. I see it clearly. It's really concerning. You really need to know. Oh, wow. Libra. Could it be that this is the part where you have been waiting for for the entire year? Finally, it's here? Yes. So find out more what I've just seen in the extended. Link in the description box below. I will see you there.